Hey guys, this video is going to introduce you to a concept known as autosomal dominant inheritance. Uh, this is a type of Mendelian inheritance, it's kind of simplified genetics, but it's a good way to learn. Uh, the first part of this concept is autosomal, which essentially means non-sex linked, uh, which means that um, we're going to be dealing with non-sex chromosomes. So no X's or Y's, we're going to be dealing with the rest of the chromosomes. Um, and uh, dominant means that when it's, when this uh, trait or this gene, this inheritance style is, is present with recessive traits, um, the dis-dominant trait will win out. I mean, it'll be the one that's expressed in the phenotype. So like if they have, if the organism is, uh, they have a genotype that is heterozygous, meaning they have a copy of a dominant and a recessive uh, trait, the dominant one is one that will win out and actually be shown in the phenotype. We have a different video about genotypes and phenotypes, so check that out if you're a little confused about what I'm talking about. Um, but the big part about autosomal dominant, like when we talk about in the concept or in the realm of um, diseases, is that autosomal dominant diseases or, or traits or diseases that follow autosomal dominant inheritance, they'll be present at each generation of a pedigree. And they can be passed on from father to offspring or mother to offspring, which if you know anything about uh, mitochondrial inheritance or sex inheritance, which we have other videos about, they cannot do that style of inheritance. They have more specific styles of inheritance. So if you look at a pedigree and you see that a trait, let's say um, chondroplasia or some sort of autosomal dominant disease is present at every generation, you might be able to call out already, hey, this looks like this might be an autosomal dominant disease. This kind of follows an autosomal dominant inheritance style. And then look and make sure that you have father passing on to son, you have father, pa or yeah, father passing on to daughter, and you have um, mother passing on to son and daughter, just like that as well. Because anyone with an autosomal dominant disease, anyone can pass on to anyone. Um, so again, dominant means that when it's present with a recessive form of uh, that trait, the dominant is the one that will show in the phenotype or the one that will win out and autosomal meaning non-sex linked.